Today, the gun lobbyists at the NRA got what they wanted on the floor of the United States Senate. And tonight, lobbyists from the NRA have made it harder for the FBI to find the murderer who planted the bombs here in Boston. There are new developments tonight in the bombing investigation here in Boston, but that investigation could be moving faster were it not for the successful lobbying efforts of the National Rifle Association. The NRA's effort to guarantee that American mass murderers are the best equipped mass murderers in the world is not limited to murderers who use assault weapons and high capacity magazines. The NRA is also in the business of helping bombers get away with their crimes. Gunpowder could be traced by investigators to a buyer at the point of sale if gunpowder contained a tagant, an element that would enable tracing of the purchase of gunpowder. But thanks to the National Rifle Association, identification tagants are required by law only in plastic explosives. The NRA has successfully blocked any requirements for such tagants in gunpowder. So such supremely helpful evidence as tagants are not available to the FBI in this investigation. 